If you're looking to get started in Cleveland real estate investing, I freaking guarantee you, you are going to love what we're doing today. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. This is Holton Wise. I'm James Wise. Hit that subscribe button if you're on YouTube. Follow if you're on TikTok or like or whatever if you're on Facebook. Wherever you get your Holton Wise TV, that's cool. Freaking follow it because if you're trying to get involved in Cleveland real estate, Holton Wise TV is going to be where you want to be, right? You have people uh, that uh, are real estate agents that could help you buy real estate. But do they really know the real estate investment business? The majority of real estate agents out there, uh, they help people buy and sell homes they're going to live in, right? My clients today, Phil and Danielle, you guys live in Solon, Ohio, okay? Very nice, affluent neighborhood. If you guys wanted to sell your Solon property, I don't know exact, I don't like know your exact address or anything, but I'm just guessing, right? It's Solon. I'm sure your house is probably worth like half a mil or something. If you're like, hey, James, can you sell our half a million dollar beautiful ass house i'd be like fuck no danielle fuck no phil that's not my gig right all i do is real estate investments right uh i want to be a uh master of you don't you don't want to be a what's it called uh ja, ja, uh master of uh one no jack of all trades master of one there we go i fucked that all up yeah i ain't trying to be a jack of all trades master of none right I focus specifically on real estate investing. I eat, breathe, and sleep it. I've sold over $200 million worth of the stuff, have the biggest scattered site rental portfolio in the market, right? So that's why you come to me for this type of stuff. That's why people should be coming to me for this type of stuff. Your happy uh, suburban lives, you know, big, beautiful homes, white picket fences, 2.1 kids, nice little dog named Rover. That's cool, man. I live that life too, but I don't. Uh, live that life uh, in my work life. It has nothing to do with my business, right? So uh, you got to get your aces in your places, right? So if you're looking for investing to talk about the, the real life uh, experiences of a real estate investor, this is where you want to do it. Not every realtor can help you with that, just like not every realtor can help you sell your family home, okay? So with all that out of there, uh, this is the show where we really get down to the nitty-gritty, and I could analyze properties for you folks uh, in a completely unbiased fashion, right? Because you've already paid for my consulting services. So it's not like I'm a realtor just, like, trying to chase a paycheck, right? I'm going to give you very objection, uh, like, you know, very objectionable uh, information, right? It's not going to be biased in any way. And you guys sent me a duplex to look at for you, and that's exactly what I'm going to do with eyes wide open right after this commercial break. Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. <laughs> Welcome back. Let's jump right into the property, okay? Two. 118 Mayview Avenue, Cleveland, 44109. Five days on the market, list price $99,000. We have two tenants already in here, both long-term tenants paying $650. As for the duplex, we don't have much to go off of, just a couple exterior photos, but you are all in luck, right? You're in luck. I actually sold this property in, like, I want to say 2014. As I speak today, it's 2021. So we're talking, like, seven years ago, right? Sold this, out-of-state investor, same person who currently owns it and has listed it for sale with his real estate agent, right? I sold this back seven-something years ago. And my team, we did a renovation on the property back then. Now, friggin' sold $200 million worth of this stuff, okay? So, you know have thousands and thousands and thousands of properties. So, like, do I remember everything specifically? No. Uh, the one thing that does stick out of my head, though, is I remember there's, like, some big motherfucking, like, jacuzzi, like a big fucking freestanding jacuzzi that was, like, buried in the backyard under a bunch of shit. I remember uh, uh, that was, like, the first time we dealt with that, uh, getting that motherfucker out of there. But outside of that, I'm assuming it was just, like, a pretty normal... Uh, 
you know, duplex reno. It's a pretty classic duplex, right? It's got the two beds uh, on the side with the bathroom in the middle, uh, dining room, living room, kitchen in the back, right? I, I was physically in this property back then, right? That's uh, back in the day, the team was much smaller, right? So I was physically uh, touring some of these properties, right? So uh, other than that, I, I, I know we did the reno. I believe we did a roof, I'm guesstimating. Uh, so what you have here is a property that's uh, been pretty decently renovated within the last seven years. Now, as far as like what's happening right now, I don't recall if uh, those are the tenants uh, that we had placed way back then. They, the, the listing said they're longer term tenants. Uh, we managed it for like two years, right? I don't remember how many tenants we had in there at that time, if they were the originals or if we put a couple. But I do know back in the day, we were placing tenants in these type of properties at 750 However, we have since increased that and uh, where the market's at today, the rent is approximately 750 So what you can anticipate on the long haul from a property like this is 1500 a month, 18000 a year. After your fixed and variable expenses, I anticipate you bringing home close to 8 Gs. And what you need to do, you got to pay list. Ain't no way this property's getting sold for under list. I guarantee there's going to be multiple offers. So $99.9 will be the price. $24.975 should be what you put down. After all is said and done, this is looking like a long-term investment at 17% cash on cash return. Now, as far as the neighborhood goes, C-grade neighborhood, Old Brooklyn. I love this neighborhood. Great for cash paying tenants. Uh, great for Section 8. The current tenants, I don't know what they are. Again, you know, it's seven years since we sold this thing. Uh, we haven't worked with this particular investor in at least five years. I don't know how he's handling his management if he goes the Section 8 route, if he doesn't. Uh, but you do have two cash bank tenants in there at 650 currently, right? So if you were to run your numbers again based on the current rent, you, you know, more than welcome to do that, right? And I, I do get investors who talk to me about stuff like that on these like little properties right single families duplexes and i do want to talk about that for a minute i think it's it's uh it's it's kind of it's it's like you should do it i guess it's important but like guys eyes on the freaking prize here right uh there's an unlimited amount of variables at any point in time when you're owning rental properties right the charts and the the projections these are anticipated performance projections but every tenant is its own human being, it's its own person, right? Every tenant's got its own life, their own life, right? So every property can go on its own trajectory, right? So what we do here is we give you an idea of what that investment on average should look like based upon our experiences running thousands of these suckers, right? So when I get these investors that are like, Oh, well, that's the market rent. What if I run my projections based on, like, this particular rent? Guys, that is, like, a small fucking sliver uh, of the life cycle of your property, right? It's not really relevant, right? So whether the market rent, like, the market rent is what matters. That's what the thing's going to kick off over the long haul, right? If you, like, narrow down on one tiny point in the investment's life, what the fuck does that matter, right? Whether that current rent is lower than market or higher than market, neither are necessarily uh, indicators of what it should produce for you over the long haul. So if you're going to go into a property with a 30-year loan, right, what does any, you know, if you own it for 30 years, right, that's 360 months. What does any one, like, three-month or six-month period matter to the overall validity of your investment if you're going to own it for a course of 30 years. It's irrelevant. And I would tell you the same thing if somebody had said, hey, we put a tenant in here at 900. Who gives a fuck, dude? Because over the long haul, that's not the type of returns you should anticipate. Likewise, when someone, uh, you pick up a property from like a, a landlord who's renting a property below market rent, I tell you the same thing, right? So that's why when I run my projections, I typically do them for people based upon what the thing's going to kick off for the long haul because that is the best, most accurate way to give you an understanding of what it is you're buying. Because you could take any rental property in the world, you take its life cycle as an investment, and you could zoom in and narrow down on any one little two-month, three-month, four-month period and it could be wildly different no matter what, right? That could have been the little period where you put in a new furnace and you'd think, oh, you got to spend all this money. It could have been a period where things were running great. You have to look at these with a big picture mindset. So with all that said, 
99.9 for this one. Should kick off 15 hundo in rent. I anticipate a 17% cash on cash return, like I said, over the long haul. Multiple offers are anticipated. So if you're thinking about making an offer lower than list price, you're just wasting everybody's time, right? That's where we are in the market today, April, the end of April or beginning of May, whatever the hell day it is. This is the, yeah, it's the beginning of May, right? That's where the Cleveland market is right now. Absolutely no reason this property will sell for a dollar less than $99.9. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.